you are about to witness the power of a fully armed and operational YouTube channel. That's right, I too can make beds. DM Scotty. So I really must close that chaos gate. Anyway, right. DM Scotty beat me to it, but I'm going to make my own variation of a bed. So I'm going to grab some lollipop sticks, popsicle sticks, tongue depressors, whatever you want to call them, and we're going to measure out five centimeter strips. So we're going to need eight of them. So you're going to measure a crotch, a whole, a crotch, across a whole bunch of them and then just lop off the curled ends and um, cut them in the middle and um, produce eight of those. So we're going to be creating a bed that's made up of a headboard and a bed base and then the two legs at the foot of the bed. So I'm going to grab an additional popsicle stick and this time I'm going to measure out the five centimeters and then in halves, so two and a half centimeter strips. And uh, so you'll have four of those and I'll lop off the curled ends and cut in each individual piece out. And these are going to form the legs at the foot of the bed. Then grab three matchsticks, two of them we're going to use later. The one which is going to measure off the width of one of those uh, foot pieces and we need four of those so we're just going to cut out those four pieces from the matchstick and wait to use those later. So now I grab some hot glue, place it down the long edge of one of the foot pieces and stick another one at a perpendicular 90 degree angle to the other side as you can see there and again the other one so these are going to form the two leg pieces at the base of the bed where the feet of a character would be and um, just wipe off any excess glue uh, make sure you don't do it immediately because the glue will still be hot just wait a little bit and then do it while the glue is still a little bit runny but not hot then grab the uh, five centimeter pieces that we've created and stick four of them together using the hot glue one of these is going to form the base and one will form the headboard. So um, both of these are going to be used. The headboard is going to be cut and it's important that the glue is hot and runny prior to applying this because otherwise when you cut off as I have here I'm just straightening the edges for the base otherwise when you cut it off um, and the glue is, hasn't um, wasn't runny enough. It hasn't. It won't stick together properly. And when it doesn't stick together properly, the problem that you then get is that when you cut it, the um, strips will split, and you don't want that to happen. So um, just make sure that it's that it's nice and runny and hot. Which of course you need to be careful when you're wiping it off, as I do, and you see it here. Obviously, this is edited, so it does take a little bit longer than the amount of time you see it, me doing it here. Then we take the headboard piece, and from the one edge, we measure one and a quarter centimeters up from the bottom on both sides, and then connect with a line. And this will form the um, height of the base off the ground. Then I'm going to grab a toilet roll and just. Um, trace out a curved edge for the top just as we did in the door video and then cut out the curve. Do it very slowly so that you don't break the rest of the bits of wood. Okay so then at, on the base underneath we're applying on each corner just a dab of hot glue on each corner. Now we're going to apply the small bits of matchstick. Now again as you would have seen in the bridge video I do this merely to increase the surface area so that when this is bonded to the other pieces there's more surface area for it to work with. So it's not 100% necessary but um, I use this just to increase the strength of the overall end product. So there you have it there the base with the four bits underneath. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to grab those foot pieces and get that 
one and a half, uh, sorry, one and a quarter centimeter measurement uh, and trace it along the inside of that so we know how high it's going to go up on the feet. And uh, then we're going to um, stick the base to that. So underneath the line, not above the line or on the line, and underneath the line, you then put some hot glue on the foot piece and stick it onto the, um, the foot corner of the bed. And again, for the other side, again, underneath the line, make sure you are selecting the shorter, the shorter part of the line there and apply it to the other side on the short edge. Then grab the headboard and again the hot glue underneath the line, not on the line or above the line, but underneath the line and apply the other side of the bed to it so that it forms a nice stand and everything should be even. Here we go. So that is the bed frame. So what we're going to do now is just add some struts across the back just to give it some support. So just grab hot glue and straight across the back of where the base would be on the other side and up near the top where the curve starts, grab those other matchsticks we talked about earlier and apply those. This will just add some strength to it. And once that's dried, just lop off the excess with the scissors. And uh, there you go, that's the frame complete. So now we're gonna grab a standard size piece of cardboard and we're gonna measure the size of the inside of the base of both length and width and you need to measure that out and each time you do this because there may be differences in the actual width of the of the uh, lollipop sticks the popsicle sticks um, you should probably measure this every single time so don't think it's just going to be the same each time it's better to measure it just to be on the safe side because the next th this part is important so it will fit in the bed correctly and it won't fall out so we cut out that piece and then we clean up the edges and then lop off the um, uh, corners just so that we have a sort of a curved looking edge and then we're going to compress the cardboard so you just squish it down so obviously this is double layer cardboard and just squish it down now I'm going to grab some toilet paper and I'm not going to do the DM Scotty thing where he uses water and white glue and all that sort of thing. I don't have time for that sort of stuff. So I'm going to apply hot glue to the uh, one side of the mattress effectively. And uh, I'm going to wrap the, uh, right across. So you just roll the, the paper across, but make sure that it's in the middle. So um, you've got even on both sides and then make sure you then place one line of hot glue and roll over the other long edge. Okay, so now we've got a sort of a bow tie looking thing. One side will be the pillow side and the other side will be the seat, the foot side. So on the pillow side, put a line of hot glue, fold over the um, toilet paper. So there'll be some still sticking up. That's fine. That's what we want. And now you, on the, on the back of that, you now apply another line of hot glue and fold it back again. So this will look like um, the edge of the covers or the, or the pillow is there. And um, then on the other side, you flip it over and apply enough glue to fold over the excess and stick it down. So that's at the foot of the mattress underneath. Okay, and just push that down. Right now, where it's open on the other side, just put some hot glue that's in the pillow area there. That'll fluff it up a bit. Um, to give it some filling and uh, you can then just gently push it down with your finger uh, and that should dry pretty quickly. So this once dry will fit in the bed as you can see it just wedges in there and uh, that's a nice easy way of doing it um, and what you'll notice is it's not easy to get out which aids in it not falling out so it's easier to store so as you can see here it doesn't actually fall out so it's easy to store um, and what I've done now, I've base painted it black and I've just done the wood technique from, the, from when you saw me do doors and bookcases and things. And I applied brown and white paint to the mattress. And now what I'm just doing is adding some blue with Boots of Speed uh, just to add some color to it. But it's going to be a mucky, browny, worn out kind of color, which is great for a nice decrepit bed that you'd find in a dungeon. And there we have it nice and easy. 
here it is on a tile nice and close up we get all the wood texture and uh, there you have it out if you like this video use the like button do it before it is too late for you and maybe me but definitely you check out my latest subscriber competition video it's over here you can also check out my fully operational website, the dmg.info. You cannot see my face, but you can see my Facebook page. I'm about to get medieval on some cardboard. Halflings, because we cannot use the word hobbits. No, we cannot. I shall make cardboard dungeons for them.